Oh, Dean Casmento here. I think last, I think last week, uh, I spoke about uh, when we live in the sweet spot, you know, when we live in flow, in balance in our life, we accept, uh, we accept both these, these highs and lows that we experience uh, every day. And you know, it's it's about how we, it's about how we adapt to those high or to those lows you know how we learn from them and how we can get value from them which allows us to to maintain our emotional state maintain our focus and you know nothing more than a positive perception of ourselves. and on the flip side of that you know i mentioned that when we get extremely excited about something i think it's valuable to also find the drawbacks in that excitement uh, because in life you cannot have you really can't have one without the other so uh, today was an example of that for me um, uh, I got a phone call I got a phone call at one o'clock phone call at one o'clock uh, from channel seven for me uh, which is a lifestyle TV channel uh, wanting to use me uh, for some of their upcoming segments to be screened on the 25th of November and I got filled with all sorts of you know excitement I think something I think the viewing goes out to maybe 75,000 people per segment or something like that um, or more and obviously I was filled with all sorts of excitement and anticipation all that sort of stuff and I lost that sort of humbleness I lost that humility and then within two and a half hours uh, later I got an email and uh, she may or, or may not listen to this video. I got an email from a client um, saying that uh, they were no longer continue on with the breakthrough program. And you know, as you know, I speak openly and honestly. And, and you know, I think I could have quite easily have started saying to myself that, you know, as we sometimes, you know, sometimes may, you know, they're not good enough, you know, they're not smart enough, the program's not good enough, or yada, yada, yada. But what I accept from it is that it's about bringing me back into balance and there's actually a lot a lot that I can learn from that experience. And did you think that brought me back down to level pegging after being so excited about being asked to to uh, film on the, um, on the TV show? And, uh, you know, it's just another example of just how things, it's so important for us to stay humble, for us to stay centred and to not get overly excited about all those sorts of things and to not look for um, this illusion of being happy all the time and nor putting ourselves down to this deep dark pit of despair but finding that happy medium finding value and benefit in the things that we may perceive as void such as this particular client of mine saying that they no longer want to continue with the breakthrough program and also finding I suppose drawbacks from you know something that could make you feel extremely 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 excited such as you know being on a on a TV show and it's not necessarily about looking for the negatives but but making sure that you ask you ask yourself you know questions that bring you back into balance you know that that you know what might not be it may not be all that working on a TV show you know it, it, it may it may not be, it, you know, some of the drawbacks to me that I may get ahead of myself, and, I, and that I may think that I'm a little bit better than what I thought I than what I thought I am, or that it might take my focus away from what's important. Um, it won't happen, but as I start to consider those things, I start to, start to create that level of humility and uh, humbleness, and I sort of create that balance back in my life. And actually, when I think about it, and when I've done that, I did that about an hour ago. That as I consider, as I consider um, filming, which filming starts tomorrow, you know, I feel inherently positive about it. That I'm most definitely not overly, uh, you know, excited and uh, full of nervousness and all that sort of stuff and tension. But it just is. It's just another opportunity for me to deliver my message. So, guys, find balance. Find balance in your life. Find the voids. In those voids 
find the value, find the benefits to you. And in those times when you're feeling extreme levels of high and high excitement, maybe ask yourself what might some of those drawbacks be. You may be a little bit confused, but confusion is a great state, a great state to learn. Because when you are confused, you're about to learn something new. And the conscious mind may not make sense of it, but definitely the, the unconscious mind knows exactly what it needs to know for you to for you to stay in that level of centeredness and, and I suppose contentment and acceptance and love within yourself. So I hope you uh, got some value from this. Uh, stay tuned. Seven for me. Uh, I'll be shooting. I'll be uh, putting out some links on on Facebook. Um, about the segments and when the uh, when the dates are, and I'm coming in in the field of relationships. Um, one, how we can enhance our relationships, with our existing relationships, and two, how we can go about letting go of past relationships, uh, breakups, separations, divorce, all those sorts of things. Uh, beyond that, if you have any questions, make sure you email me at info at deancasmento.com.au or jump onto my website at www www.deancasmento.com.au If I don't hear from you, I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.